Am I the butthole for telling my stepdaughter to stop using period products in the bathroom she shares with my teenage sons? I have been living with my new wife and stepdaughter for about 6 months now. She's 19, almost 20, and I have 3 sons aged 18, 16 and 15. She's a really good kid and she's a good influence on my sons, I really enjoy having her around. My wife and her daughter moved into my house and sold theirs. My stepdaughter's father isn't present in her life, nor is my son's mother. All four children share a bathroom. My sons have never lived for a long period of time with a woman, nor have any of them had long-term girlfriends. They had short visitation periods when they were younger but never longer than an hour, so living with two women has been unusual for them. My eldest son, 18, came to me last week and told me that his stepsister disposes of her used sanitary products in the trash can they share, but doesn't use toilet roll or sandwich bags to disguise what they are, and it makes him uncomfortable which I think is reasonable. My sons are teenage boys and don't want to see their stepsister's period products on full display. A few nights ago I went into the kitchen to grab a snack and she was there doing some work for university. My wife had mentioned that she knew she was on her period so I took it as an opportunity to have a word with her. I told her my sons were uncomfortable and asked her if she'd mind putting her used products in diaper bags or flushing them down the toilet. She laughed and told me it was rich coming from a man who sheds like a gorilla and has produced three skid marking sons which I thought was just an unnecessary attack. I've been nothing but nice to the girl and it's hardly a comparison. My sons shouldn't be subjected to her unhygienic products if it makes them uncomfortable. She went on to lecture me about how tampons can't be flushed and that it's bad for the environment if she uses diaper bags for everyone which I think is just an excuse. I called her a scruff and told her that this was my house and that what I say goes. I later asked my wife if she could have a word with her and she told me I was being ridiculous and that her daughter has had her period for 10 years and knows what she's doing. When I told her it was making my sons uncomfortable she said my sons needed to get a grip and turned over and went to sleep. This is a genuine issue to me and she didn't care enough to have a discussion about it. I asked my stepdaughter again in the morning and she did the same as her mother, completely dismissed it. Both of them have told me to stop being so silly but I don't see how I'm being unreasonable when it makes my sons uncomfortable. Am I the butthole? Update, not even two hours after I posted this, my wife and stepdaughter gathered my sons and I and gave us a full intensive periods for pricks course, powerpoint and all. It was a hoot, they made an interactive quiz and everything. My sons and I learned a lot and apologized to my stepdaughter. Thank you for your input. Uda. Sorry but what? I'm a guy and realize this is ridiculous. You need to help yourself and your sons become better men and accept that it's a natural process. Are you uncomfortable with your wife's use of the same? I assume not so teach your sons to be better. Edit, my first gold. Thank you, kind stranger. Hijacking the top comment since I doubt original post will edit to add this in. He said in his replies that she wraps the pads slash tampons in the packaging before throwing them away. So the sons can't even see any blood. And the garbage bin has a lid. This is beyond ridiculous. I'm not surprised the stepdaughter snapped. Oops. Just saw this after I commented about using a trash can with a lid. Agreed. Trash cans with lids are clutch if you have dogs, but I think original post is still going to be triggered if his dear boys have to see a scrap of tampon wrapper when they open the lid to throw away something. What did you expect? He didn't even know that tampons and pads are not to be flushed down in the toilet. Also, it's not just op sons that needs to get a grip, but original post as well. It's a good thing his stepdaughter is 19 and not 9. She might have listened to him, and then he would have had to reprimand her for ruining his plumbing. This is definitely a man who has never had to snake a toilet before, they are doing him a huge favor and he doesn't even know it. Snake a toilet or pay for a pricey plumber to do it for him. She absolutely should have started flushing them, just to prove a point. I think just knowing they're there is enough. They probably get triggered seeing the box of unused ones on their shelf. It's not bad enough sharing her bathroom with four dudes, when you know damn well she gets stuck with all the cleaning, but they have to give her crap about her period too. Fun story, I had been away for work placement and flew home, ended up sleeping in an airport from 2 a.m. to 7 a.m., got home around 9 a.m., was very tired, unpacked a few toiletries and pajamas including my pads, 
put them on the back of the toilet and went straight to bed. I woke up a few hours later to my whole family gone but my grandmother coming in the door with her cousins visiting from Holland. She visited for a bit and after I couldn't find my pads. She had hidden them under the sink so her relatives didn't see them I guess? I had a little chuckle about how old and conservative she is to think that would be offensive. Anyway original post Uda, your sons need to grow up and take a sex ed course, as do you. If she's wrapping them in the wrappers slash TP and in a lidded garbage can that's all you can ask of her. Facts. I have a dog who likes to explore both kitchen and bathroom trash cans. All of ours have lids. We have a cat that knocks over trash cans. Heavy trash cans with lids for life. Info, do his sons know where babies come from? And how they get here? I wrap my pads in the packaging and then wrap it in toilet rolls so no blood is visible at all and my brother, 17, has never complained about it. Ops sons need to get a grip if they ever plan on having serious girlfriends in the future. I'm going to say the immaturity about this probably gives a telling reason as to why even his 18-year-old son may have not had a long-term relationship yet. Most teens are in relationships of some sort but if they are this immature about periods then what else are they immature about? Uda op. As a female I am appalled. Teach your sons better. My boyfriend is appalled too and thinks Uda too for not teaching your sons to not snoop through a trash can. A total Uda situation but nothing wrong with not having been in a relationship by the age of 18. This is the internet. Nothing wrong exactly but when kids in their late teens, especially three from the same household, are not holding on to any sort of relationship and hold this amount of immaturity about a natural body process then it begs to consider why they are not in one. I think whether or not he's had a relationship is immaterial, he's 18. Not having had a serious relationship at 18 doesn't say crap about the kid either way. I will absolutely agree that original post is setting his sons up for catastrophic failure when slash if they do have girlfriends. I think that's pretty unfair. Lots of well-adjusted teens don't have much luck with dating, and not having had a long term by that age isn't really anything to stress about. Heck I honestly wasn't into girls until I was about 20. I mean I had crushes and stuff and obviously had the hormones going, but for the most part I really didn't care enough to seek out relationships. Up. She's doing them a favor by treating them like mature human males who can handle the fact that women have periods. This is something they need to come to terms with now so they don't act like childish jerks when they have a girlfriend, wife, or daughter of their own. In fact, I think they should have to buy products for her just to get over their supposed fear of periods. And make them take the bathroom trash out. I promise it won't hurt them. Oh, Uda for vilifying a woman's basic bodily functions. Shaming his new stepdaughter for her periods is bad. Not teaching his own sons to take it in stride is bad. And yes, body hair is analogous. Not wiping one's bum properly is disgusting whatever gender. WFT? Buddha. Be a better dad to your sons to start. The fact that she knows about the skid marks means they probably leave their dirty underwear on the floor for her to see. Exactly. Or it's the job of wife and stepdaughter to do laundry. Or is that unnecessary cynicism? I think they should have to buy products for her just to get over their supposed fear of periods. My fiancé, then boyfriend, literally walked into our CrossFit gym with a box of tampons in his gym bag that he just bought from the gas station because I told him I needed one, I was coming straight from work and he was coming from home, no shame. Also, he asked her to throw them in the toilet, she should 100%, do this and then watch when he has to hire a plumber because of the clog, then shrug and say I just threw them in the toilet like you requested. Our slash malicious compliance I love it. Reddit link. I thought the same. You can see where the sons get it from. Original post has no idea about these kinds of things. He never bothered to learn so instead of teaching his sons he would rather harass the stepdaughter because nature. No kidding. If the sons are uncomfortable now, Wait until they have to explain to their dad while they are single at 40 because they've never learned to treat women with respect. The skid marks in the underwear might also be a factor. Honestly, to me that's the biggest WTF here. Wait, what? From just reading the post, I thought maybe she was just laying them open, blood up, in an open trash can. But she's wrapping them in the package in a trash can with lid? This is just ridiculous. Up, Uda. 
and you should be thanking your lucky stars, and your wallet, and the plumbing gods, that she's not agreeing with you to flush her products. Hey, op, how about instead of shaming your stepdaughter for a natural function, you teach your sons all about natural body functions, and how it's nothing to be grossed out about. Help make them better men, and then if they ever do get married they'll be better husbands. Or, you know, keep doing what you're doing and then wonder why your second marriage crumbled, and why your daughters-in-law keep complaining about what jerks your sons are. Also, teach them to clean their skid marks from the toilet bowl too I mean you like sure it's normal but be considerate of the next person who has to go. I was assuming the skid marks were on the underwear, but you could be right. Or it could be both. Gather round folks. Let me regale you with a story about my ex-husband. This man, for whatever reason, did not wipe properly. I found this out after we were married when I was doing the laundry. I was placing his underwear in the washer when I noticed it. Folks, I could not believe my own eyes. How could this 23-year-old dude have skid marks in his underwear? So I asked him about it. He was super defensive about it. He claimed I was intentionally making fun of him. Fine. Whatever. Let's move on. I figured this traumatic event for him was enough to send the message home that perhaps, just perhaps, he needs to step up his personal hygiene game. I was wrong. So, so wrong. I didn't want a repeat of the previous fiasco, so I quietly threw out his crap-filled underpants. Over time, he started to notice that his underwear was disappearing. I told him what I had done. He was pissed. How could I do such a thing? Filled with petty disbelief I snapped back that maybe, just maybe he could, I don't know. Stop crafting his pants. That went over about as well as you can imagine. Guys, it's absolutely the opposite of sexy when we have to re-potty train you. Nobody wants to have that conversation. Wipe your damn ass. But teaching his kids to respect women would be too hard, while why can't women just accommodate our weak, fragile souls? Also chiming in on the top comment to say that not only is this post ridiculous, it's sexist as f. It is normal for a 19-year-old female body to menstruate. Op's sons need to get comfortable with that fact, fast, and learn that women don't have to adjust their behavior to make them comfortable. It is not, on the other hand, normal or okay to leave skid marks, or tons of hair, in shared spaces without cleaning up after yourself. Uda, op. Oh. So she's doing exactly what she's supposed to do to dispose of period products? Absolutely Uda, op. Jesus, get a grip. I was going to say NTA, then I saw this. There are 11 males in my house and they've literally never complained about any of our unhygienic products because they're all wrapped up in the packaging. I legit thought the stepdaughter was leaving her napkins wide open in the trash from the way I read it. What kind of decent dad would let his sons be scared and uncomfortable with something as mundane as napkins and tampons, damn? Uda. Yep, Uda. Also, flushing those products down the toilet will block the toilet too, which I'm sure you'll be thrilled about when you have to pay for the plumber to come out to your house. If you want to raise upstanding sons, raise them with the knowledge that periods are normal and not something to shame her for. They are the ones being immature by making a fuss. She's wrapping them up and putting them in the bin like she should. Listen to your damn wife, and stop trying to mansplain how to handle periods. The fact is you don't know how to handle periods, or period products. Educate yourself. Read a book or listen to your wife, without dismissing her experience, before lecturing your stepdaughter on something you obviously know nothing about. I can't give you an award, but have this instead, sports medal, my brother lived with my family for a bit after he got out of the army. He told me to stop throwing the pad wrappers, not even the pad itself, into the trash. I told him to F off. He is now happily married, and I can guarantee that he doesn't do that anymore. Op, really read what people are telling you here. You need to have a conversation with your sons, and you should apologize to your stepdaughter. Buddha. It's amazing to me that someone can go to someone and say, Hey that thing you've done 100 plus, times now? Well, I, as someone who has never experienced it, and will never experience it in the future, have a whole lot to teach you. It's so arrogant and ridiculous. Uda. How about you have a talk with your sons about periods instead of trying to shame a woman for bleeding? 
Wish there was a disclaimer or tag for posts you don't need to read all the way through. The title of this post is clearly meant to bring as much shame to a biological function as possible. The post itself somehow makes it uncomfortable to imagine someone so dense freely walking the earth without supervision. A. Titles like these are 50 to 50 why won't this disgusting creature walk to the dump so there's no sign of her filth in my house and I provided her with a trash can but she says I'm shaming her when I ask her to stop leaving used tampons on top of my son's toothbrush. How do I unread the toothbrush bit? I hate when my girlfriend leaves her used tampons on my toothbrush. So annoying. The post itself somehow makes it uncomfortable to imagine someone so dense freely walking the earth without supervision. Many, many people are so dense, especially those growing up in households where anything regarding sexuality or menstruation was either totally taboo or women's stuff only in sex ed in school was lackluster at best. Yeah love how he calls it unhygienic when it's in the trash can. His sons are going to be crafty boyfriends, no wonder none of them have had any serious relationships. My ex is one of three boys and we have a 12-year-old who just got her first period. I have been giving him a crash course in periods over the last 24 hours. He had no clue, but he was receptive, warm and loving towards our kid. I know he's not going to be insensitive about it. Want to come talk to my ex-op? He can teach you all about it. Buddha. Get over it and teach those messy kids of yours to clean up their body hair and poop smears. This. Original post should educate his sons now so they don't grow up to be ignorant losers, instead of trying to make the stepdaughter change, are you kidding me? Tell them that it's a natural bodily function for most women and that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.